What's up guys, Vans even here with your fourth tutorial on Java game development. I decided to take a break from the uh, screen class and stuff like that for this episode. I was originally just going to make this a bit more efficient and explain to you some more coloring uh, manipulation stuff like that. But uh, I think instead we're going to do some input handling here. We're going to set that up. So last episode, if you recall, we set up the, the base game along with importing some tiles. So these are the tiles from the... Uh, sprite sheet that we got and they're just loaded into the game right now so what we're going to do right now is we're going to make that page move so first off we're going to add, make a new class we're going to call it input handler okay and uh, in the input handler class it's going to implements implements uh, key listener we're just going to import those with control shift or command shift o I don't know how many times I'm going to have to say that before I'm comfortable with just letting you guys do it on your own, but we'll continue to say that. So we're just going to remove these here. That's good. Remove the overrides and format it. Okay, so there's that. Uh, now what we're going to do is there's going to be a list here of a key. Uh, keys equal new array list key. Uh, we haven't created the key object yet, but we're going to do that in a second. Actually, we don't need to import anything. Uh, we also public class key. And this is going to be that key class here. So we're just going to import now, and we will import util.list. Uh, this key is going to have a public int or boolean is pressed. It will just say pressed. Okay, and they're all going to be false originally. Uh, public, they're also going to, what else? We'll have to toggle it. So, oops, public void toggle, uh, boolean is pressed, and pressed is equal to is pressed. Okay. Uh, what else we'll need? We will need. I think that's about it. Yeah, that seems about it. So we're gonna have a list of keys here. Uh, we're also going to make a function down here to toggle all to toggle keys. Um, so we're gonna have a public void toggle. Uh, it's going to take a int key code and what else? Um, boolean oops, is pressed. Okay, so here we're just going to say toggle key, because we're going to rename this to toggle key, and we're going to say e dot get key code, and we're going to say true, and we're going to copy this line, and we're going to put it here, and we're just going to say false. Okay. So now we're going to have, um, what we're going to do, yeah, we'll have a list of keys here. So we'll just have a key, and this is going to be up, new key, up, down, left, right. That's all we're going to need for now. Down, left, and right. Okay, so these are going to be our four keys here. Uh, so when we toggle keys, if the key, if the key code is equal to key event dot vk underscore w, because that's what we're going to use for the up key, uh, then we're going to say up dot toggle is pressed. Okay, and then we're going to copy this down four lines, and if it's w, if it's s, we're going to say down, if it's a, we're going to say left, and if it's D, we're going to say right. There's that. There's our keys. Actually, I guess we don't need this list here. Uh, we, we might put that list back in here later, but uh, there's that. And uh, I think that's about it for this. What we're also going to need in here, actually, is um, this class is going to take constructor and the constructor is going to take a game, so it's going to take our game class, 
and we're going to say game dot uh, add key listener this just so that we don't have to do that in the main class and it'll automatically do it here and that's all we need for this so we're going to go up here and under screen we're going to put the input handler uh, we'll move this into like a player object or something later but public uh, input handler input and we're going to go into the init method we're going to say input new input handler uh, this oops there's that so now we have the input and they should be recording the keys correctly so we're going to go down to tick here and we're going to do if um, input input dot up dot is pressed that's what we need we need a function in here where's key we're going to make this private and we're going to need a function in here to return that value so like public boolean is pressed and return uh, pressed there so then we go to game and it's going to say if input dot up dot is pressed uh, then we're going to say screen dot y offset minus minus copy this down three times and if down is pressed we're going to add to that if left is pressed we're going to minus from the x and if right is pressed we're going to add to the X. We'll just format it and clean it up. And now let's check out our game. We should be able to move around now with uh, WSAD. So we start here. We're going to hit W. And as you'll see, it's scrolling up now. Uh, we'll hit A. And we start to go left. Hit a S or D. And we go right. And S is down. You can use combinations of these to move around. And uh, yeah, there's the basic <laughs> input handler. Uh, that was quite... It was a lot simpler than uh, originally it was going to be. But um, that's how you do a basic input handler to uh, do this. So every time, let's run down this quick again. Every time uh, a key is pressed, this, this class is called because we've added it to the JFrame. And we've said to the JFrame with this, we've said that at any time keys are pressed in the JFrame, we want to go to this class. So this class has a bunch of keys which have some press data inside them. Um, what we can also do is... Uh, for later use, we'll have a int num times pressed zero and pressed. Oops. If pressed um, num times pressed plus plus. There. So that's just going to increment this number here. We're not actually going to use that now. But, um, yeah. Get num times pressed. That'll be used for, like, double jumping and stuff like that. Um, so we can just verify that this this thing is um, being jumped. But anyways, we didn't need to do that right now. But So we have a key class, which just has some data about the keys. Uh, then we have our four keys that we're registering. Uh, we could have put these into an array list and just referenced what what key they're they're local to in here, but we just decided to do it this way. Um, then down here, when that key's pressed, we're going to return true, or we're going to set it to true. When it's released, we're going to set it to false, and toggle key verifies that the keys are equal, and toggles them applicably. So that's been that one. Um, very very simple. It's not a hard thing to do. And uh, next episode, we will probably get into some more detailed uh, stuff. I might go into the... Uh, I'm not sure. We'll go into something else, something more fun next episode, because this is kind of a quick, quick and dirty thing. But uh, I will see you guys later, and I uh, hope you guys have a good day.